Welcome friends to In Minute avec Madame Music. I am so proud of the amazing art that you all have been sending me um, through Artsonia and texting and emailing. Uh, this next week we're going to be focusing on making art for our community and I will show you some examples of that uh, down below in this slide. But for right now, I have a really engaging uh, recipe for creativity, and this is for all ages. So get the entire family involved. All you need is two cups of flour, a cup of salt, and a cup of water. And you mix the two cups of flour with the salt, and then you pour in the water very gradually, and you have this satisfying mix of salt dough and you can air dry it today it is beautiful and sunny and so i may be putting mine out on the back deck where nobody will disturb it and let it uh, air dry you can also bake it in your oven for two hours at 250 degrees and i went on a scavenger hunt this morning and i found all kinds of things that i could press into my clay and add texture so i found uh, the bumpy texture on the sole of my shoes and um, I also used pencils and I found a skewer uh, anything you can find in the kitchen cabinet or maybe mom will let you use some of her jewelry and um, I dyed it with food coloring if you're afraid to get it on your hands, you can put it in a bag and just add a few drops of the food coloring and squish that around. Um, you can also paint it after it's dry, or you can even, as I've done on my little bunny's ears, I've just put a little bit of pink right there on the, the wet clay. I didn't have any glitter, but I did have a little bit of mica powder and while you're beads or whatever you're making, maybe little treasures. If you want to add a little bit of glitter while it's wet, that will stick and you can bake that as well. Uh, if you are making beads, make sure that you, or anything that you want to display or make as a pendant, make sure that you poke it with the end of a pencil and you might, while it's drying, double check it and make sure that that hole has not shrunk up too much. I also used cookie cutters, but you can also just uh, flatten it, maybe even use a rolling pin, and you can use a skewer to draw whatever it is, whatever shape it is that you want to make. And it's also really fun to just make three-dimensional objects. So um, one easy thing that I want to show you is how to roll out a coil. Uh, so I'm going to just continue rolling it as if it were a snake and then I'm going to put it together, uh, put it down on my wax paper or my parchment paper and I'm going to just bring it around and then I'm going to bring the other side around and then I'm going to take this right here in the middle and I'm going to just give it a little pinch and you can make uh, hearts for other people. If I wanted to, I could even add a magnet to the back of it. Um, another thing that I did is I, you can just shape this however you want it. Uh, and I'm making like a little tea light holder and that will dry hard. And uh, you can leave the tea light in it if you're letting it dry outside or if you're baking it in the oven, make sure that you take that out. Um, Save any of the salt dough that you uh, don't use for later. It will stay uh, perfectly nice and moist in the baggie. You can keep it in the refrigerator or even out on the counter because it's got salt and it's preserved. But most importantly, remember that you are to bring light and joy into your world and you are made in God's image. So have fun and be creative this week.